Well, good morning this morning. It is uh, right at 7 o'clock in the morning here. It's almost 80 degrees. It's hot. Shit, it's hot. Muggy. Supposed to have a heat index of 100 degrees today. What I wanted to show you this morning is a little video camcorder that I purchased for $18 brand spanking new. And uh, what happened is the video I'm making right this minute is on a new uh, camcorder I bought. It's a Canon FS100. And it had been marked down from like four, uh, at Walmart. It had been marked down from like $400. It got marked down, marked down, marked down, marked down, marked down. Got marked down to $64. And it was in the back room. I knew nothing about it, but I'd seen this other, and it was, a, I believe it was a Sony, and it was a factory refurbished for $169. And because it was a display, they was going to knock off 20%. So, you know, that's what, $35? Ten percent, seventeen, thirty-four dollars. Okay, so he's going to knock off thirty-four dollars. You talking about buying a, a nice camcorder for one hundred thirty-five, one hundred thirty-five, one hundred thirty-four dollars? Not bad. But they couldn't find the box or the battery or the goodies or the paperwork or the cables or nothing. All they had was just what was sitting out there. But while he's looking, they found this camera I'm using as I'm speaking to you right now, and. It got marked down to $64 and just put back on the shelf in the back room. Well, the lady brings this out and uh, she says, I got this in here and I can knock off 20% of this. <laughs> I end up getting a, a nice, this camcorder, nice camcorder for like $52. Brand new. I got it home, I used it, and I found out why. Because a damn Canon FS100 output files are in .mod. <sighs> Windows Movie Maker doesn't recognize .mod. And since it went to Windows 10, uh, the Windows Movie Maker got changed. And you can't even just move the file over onto the screen and change the name of it and all that kind of stuff. And then you, it don't work. So I ended up having to spend $50 to get some uh, uh, nice editing software where hopefully I can do a split screen. Have me over here and me over here. <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyhow, uh, so I, I went ahead and bought the software. It's nice software. And uh, so that's why you're able to watch this today is because I bought this new camera and new software. Well, the day before I bought this camera, I had purchased this little fella, Jazz HDV 140, and uh, you have to buy a memory card for it, a little SD card like all the other cameras use, and it takes three AAA batteries. And I figured, what the hell, $18? Because I was in the midst of trying to get these videos put out for y'all, and I said, I gotta have something. So I bought it. And I took it home. And I fired it up. And oh, it's just so cute. Look at there, ain't that cute? Oh yeah. We turn it on, let's see here. How do I turn it on? Right there. Oh yeah. Just slick as it could be, okay? Now. I have another tripod set up right next to this camera here. I mean, it's set up right there. I've got it set for the same height, and I'm gonna put this little camcorder on there so we can so we can see the difference in quality. This thing puts out a video similar to maybe a VCR tape that might have been copied 12 or 15 times back in the 70s. <laughs> but you'll see for yourself. All right, I'm gonna pause this for just a moment and get this other camera set up on a little, you know, a little mount. Hold on. Oh 
Okay. So both of these cameras are set up side by side, basically the same height. The little cheap one might be a quarter of an inch higher. I can't tell really. I can tell it's a little higher, but not much. Anyway, here you can see the difference in the quality as I go between one one camera and the next. Uh, you can tell the you can listen to the sound quality or lack thereof. But you know, I think it'd be kind of cute for just for the kids to play with. You know, where they can go out and make videos of their dogs or toys or whatever. It might be kind of fun. I mean, eighteen dollars. What the hell? So anyhow, uh, I wanted to show this to you. There's not much else I need to review about it because you're seeing the quality of the uh, video that it makes, or like I say, the lack thereof. Uh, but it uses three, like I said, three AAA batteries, and it uses your basic SD card. And uh, if you ain't got nothing else, at least it works. You know, hell, it might be worth it just to have it in the glove box of your car in case there was an accident or you had to witness something. Who knows? <laughs> of course, I guess everybody's got their their cell phones nowadays where they can make videos on their cell phones and I'm gonna have to try that too I uh, I think my selfie stick videos was done on a cell phone I'm not sure no nah, it wasn't no they wasn't but anyway I, I need to try my straight talk cell phone see how it works so anyway that is the Jazz $18 video camera HDV 140 it also takes still photos. Uh, it uh, says it's YouTube ready. <laughs> it's easy to upload to YouTube, Facebook, Flickr, MySpace, and popular websites. Record videos, take pictures, zoom up to four times, transfer to PC. There's a USB cable included. Uh, it's in here. I haven't bothered to open it. But, uh, this, what's inside is a USB cable, software, CD, instruction manual, QSG, whatever that is, warranty card, and hand strap. And maximum 8 gigabyte is the, the memory card you can use. So if, if you want to spend your $18 plus tax on that little old camera, you will knock yourself out. I figured if it wasn't no count, hell, I'd just take it back to Walmart. But I'm kind of liking the idea that I can have two cameras set up to where if I'm zoomed in on one little detail of something then the other one can be sitting off there at a distance especially since I bought that new software it allows me to do a split screen so I'm gonna be doing a lot of playing with the videos and seeing if I can't make a better one alright have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow bye